Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Car Rides with Connor. It's seven o'clock, I'm late for work, and we're pulling out of the driveway now. You just, you just say it so matter of fact now. Yeah. But can we explain why? It was a, it's a shampoo day. It was a shampoo day. Hey, mom needed a rinser, <laughs> and well, that's what she calls it. A rinser is no shampoo. Yeah, this is a full on, full blown. Uh, this is a thick head of hair. It takes a lot. Well, if I could just go through the full shower. Why do I have a feeling the bus is coming? We're looking at the children scattering. Yep, flashing lights. There they are. Oh, I don't see. Uh, oh, there. look, there's Emmett right over there. Oh, do you want to tell the YouTube who Emmett is? Oh, Emmett is our neighbor's cat. Uh, he just loves roaming the neighborhood. And he loves popping by our house. Our Shih Tzu Chew, he really loves him. But our German Shepherd Axel. No. No, thank you. Not a fit. Oh, man. We got hit by the bus, bro. Yeah. Who's this lady? And where does she have kids? Do we recognize her? Let's just wait. Morning. Morning. I don't recognize her. Where does she come from? And where, did, where is there a new person on our street? I don't know. Well, I need to know. Okay, you need to stop here, boss, because we gotta go. I ain't got time for this. Uh, you still got your stop sign up? Why is your stop sign up? Am I gonna get in trouble? Mm, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe the stop, stop sign's defective or something. Oh, I don't need to get that kind of ticket. It's pretty serious if you run a stop sign on a bus. I think the flashing lights have to be going. They had, they had stopped. Yeah, I guess that didn't count. I'm praying. What if I got picked up by the popo? That would not be good. Okay, um. Hmm. I think. Don't force it, baby. All right. If this is, if, if we're not feeling it, we don't put anything up. That's just the okay, way this right. is going. Well, I don't need to. I think that's why it was. When it's good, it's good. I'm trying, to, it's trying to think of something to speak of, but nothing comes to mind. Well, I was thinking we should stick to our format. So I didn't do anything last night. You could talk about what we had good time last night. Yeah. yeah. We, cooked a delici we cooked a delicious soup from 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 the movie Ratatouille. But from scratch is what I was thinking. Yeah. I made. Oh, by the way, Mom, we can't feed the leeks to the rabbits. Why? It's um. Apparently, it's bad for their blood. Oh shoot! I'm glad you looked that up. So we have this little wild baby rabbit that lives in the bushes on the side of our driveway. We call him. I call him Luckfoot because rabbits' feet are lucky. We all call him Luckfoot now because you yep. named him. So he's just adorable. And we, we have like bad vegetables because we barely eat vegetables, but I buy them because it makes me feel better. Um, we throw the rotten vegetables, like carrots and lettuce and stuff. Yeah. So Connor bought about 70,000 pounds of leeks. It was only the two pears. Which is a lot. Have you ever seen a leek in real life? Oh yes, many times. Whoa. It's huge, and we needed about three leaves for yeah. our recipe, and we have about 3,000 leaves. Yeah. But it was a really good soup. Yeah, it really sure was. You also had a fun fact about leeks that I learned. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that the leek is the national emblem of Wales. How would that be, though? Maybe it's because its colors are on the Welsh flag, green and white. Isn't that a lot of countries? Oh man, I'm yawning now. I think... I... Oh, well, sure, normally Wales' flag has a dragon on it, but I'm sure one of them has a leak. Does Wales have a king? Did they ever? I'm sure they did at one point. Yeah, my Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. Maybe the Britons were living in Wales. Okay, I'm not trying to go here. This is getting crazy. Yeah, but I've had enough of this. Ivar the Boneless, one of the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, made a made a bit of a mess of him. Of 
that's all imaginary though. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do this weekend? Don't know. It's a weekend with your dad, right? Not yeah. me. I feel like it I feel like it should be mine for some reason. Mom, last weekend was your weekend. Just can't get enough of you. Mm -hmm. You see me every day. It's not enough. do when you get your own apartment and get out of the house? What the heck am I going to do then? Well, I don't know how to pay bills or bills or anything. So, chances of that happening are zero to one. Don't say that. You can learn all that. I think, oh my gosh, I've turned into you. Um, I think... We're boring ourselves. Look at us. Yeah. <laughs> I do think first step in that whole process of probably getting you a, a driver's license. Yeah. That way I'll be able well, to drive to work. Would you make it there on time? Yep. Maybe even a few minutes earlier. I knew today was going to be trouble when I knew I had to wash my hair. It's not like I don't set my alarm either. I need you to know I do. Just okay. hit that darn snooze button. It's like I have a three snooze minimum. Do you hit, do you hit snooze on your alarm and you just pop up? Yeah. Once it hits the alarm, I'm up. Really? You just pop up, no need for snoozing. Yeah, I'm, when it goes off, I'm all, okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Then I hit the snooze. Do you actually yeah. say that out loud? Because I can picture that. Yep. Yeah. Well, I hit it, and I'm like, not yet. And I whack it, and then it happens again, and I'm like, nope. Well, One for more me, shot. For me, time stands still for nobody. Maybe me, because I ask so nicely. This lost pet sign has been up everywhere. Very skittish, do not chase. If the pet's very skittish, why wouldn't you put the pet's name on that sign? Don't you think that would have been a good idea? Yeah. To put the pet's name on it? Yeah. Okay, your, your dog's skittish. Do you know what that means? Scared, nervous, shy. Yeah, so your dog is skittish. So you got a skittish dog, don't chase, but you don't tell us its name or if it likes cheese. What's one way we can help you? Who do we have up here? New walkers. Wait, is it Tim and Sally? It's Tim and Sally, and she's not wearing her fanny pack. I guess it's just not a fanny pack day. Could be fanny pack Friday. I don't know why she wouldn't be. You know who always loved to wear a fanny pack or carry one? Who? Your grandmother, Grandbid. Oh, That's yeah. his English grandmother. Actually, she was Irish. Irish. Okay. God rest her soul. Mm. That's true. That's yeah. her. Very much. She always had that black fanny pack slung around her shoulder. Well, there is one fun fact about Ireland I do know. What's that? Back in the Viking Age, which Ireland had many kings, but only one high king. And on the hill of Tara stands a sacred stone totem. Well, mind you, it used to be ten times bigger than how, how it is now. It was called the Leofal, or the Stone of Destiny. That is where the high king of Ireland was crowned and coronated. Basically, he rested his head upon the stone, swore upon it, it to rule with honor or, and, or in compassion or whatnot. It, and after that, that it, he's high king. And then does everyone come like kiss his ring? Oh, well, I think just the other kings do. 
What? No, I thought when you kiss the ring, you're, you're telling people, yes, I'm going to serve you loyally. Why would another king kiss another king's ring? That seems like well, the, time for a beef. Well, a king, well, mom, the one thing higher than a king is God. I was going to say a high king or an emperor, or, but yes, also God. A high king isn't technically an emperor, but one step short of an emperor. I thought an emperor was just another word for king. An emperor... An em Well, an emperor is not... kind of rules over kings. Like, so kings have bosses? I didn't know that. Well, some, some do, but some don't. A high king is like an emperor in uh, some ways, but but for a monarchy, emperors rule over empires. Oh, uh, get it now. That means such as Genghis Khan or Napoleon and or were, Charlemagne. Were they emperors? Who's Charlemagne? I thought that was like a singer from the seventies doing disco music. Sh you've never heard heard of Charlemagne, the Holy Roman Emperor? Nope. Or, or Charles the Great. Man, you I've really heard. need a history lesson, Mom. I, mean, I myself don't know a lot about Charlemagne, but one of the, his famous quotes were, Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. Why is everything so dramatic? And everybody must have had a British accent. Actually, I think Charlemagne was from France. France? It's France. Or Francia. Uh, as it was known as back then. God, Connor. Well, today was a little bit of a slow pop-off, but maybe I'll edit it because I'm getting a lot of right. feedback. We need to edit. What do you okay. think about people? Wait, what do you think about people saying we need to edit our stuff? Mm, I don't like, really know how to. Anyway. I, I do, but do you think we're boring? Mm, I suppose we could kick it up and uh, spice it up and spice it up a notch or whatever the saying is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and stay classy, USA. Have me? a nice day. You too, Mom. Wait, what about me? Mom, I love you. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. Okay. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. I'm exhausted. It's been a long week. And um, stay classy, USA. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.